meet Karen Civil, social media maven and founder of Always Civil Enterprise. After crafting social media campaigns for artists and brands, including Lil Wayne and Beats by Dr. Dre, this entertainment powerhouse leveraged her connections and name to create a strong lifestyle brand that is slowly becoming a household name. Find out why she's the boss. I was what you can say like very different. You know, back then they called it weird in high school, but you know, my mom labeled me unique. I was a big fan of the Backstreet Boys. So I took to the internet to find people who were similar to me. So, you know, I created this Backstreet Boy website. I was able to meet them and I said, this internet thing is giving me what I want. I gotta figure out a way to turn this hobby into like a real life job. And I used that same internet to send Angie Martinez an email I applied for her apprentice contest. I went to New York, I tried out. Unfortunately, I didn't get it, but Funkmaster Flex liked me so much that he let me be his intern and I worked for Flex for three years. You know, the people from Hot 97 would leave at five o'clock. So if you weren't like a super big artist, like a Jay-Z or an Eminem, you weren't getting coverage on the site. So I bought a camera and I would come in and do content and try to save and give it to the people in the morning, uh, the digital team. Flex wasn't too early with it. Like he didn't fully get it. So I had to make the decision, Karen, this is a great opportunity, but you're not really living to me what I said was in my purpose or with the gift that I want to share. So I decided to get a job with Diplomat Records. I was there for a few years and then after working with them, I said, you know, I tried to help build Flex's brand that didn't work. I tried to build Dipset's brand, but you know, they had their falling out. And I said, now it's time to build my brand, my Karen Civil brand. And I started with my music website Website. I have my KarenCivil.com, which is, you know, basically a premier website that's all about entertainment in the hip hop space and exclusive interviews. I have my Live Civil site, which is a kind of a sister counterpart because what I wanted to do was have something outside of hip hop because I feel like I have so much more to offer. So I have my digital marketing company that has clients like Beats by Dre, Lil Wayne, Young Jeezy. YG, Nipsey Hustle, and that's always civil enterprise. And my whole live civil brand is really important to me because, you know, it's hard to explain to people. They're like, well, what do you do? I'm like, at this point, it's, it's weird telling people. I'm like, I do what I want. I live my life. And if today I decide I want to write a book, I'm writing a book. If I say I want to build a playground, I'm building a playground in Haiti. So I'm just somebody who is living in her purpose. And it's, it's been over six years now. Social media does play a very large role in a growing business because it can help you find your audience. And it speaks for you. It helps bring in that audience in certain places that you're not even thinking of. I think the biggest mistake, you know, I've made this mistake too. You know, you use social media as your diary. And people have to understand, even when we're in that moment of your emotions, you know, you go, you tweet something and you realize, ooh, I should have never tweeted that. So that seems to be happening a lot. It's, it's something people just have to realize. Like, you know, I understand you're mad at the moment, but you have to understand that, you know, there's a cause and effect of things. Three principles I live by. The first one is never making it personal. Second is having thick skin. You know, with everything you do, for the nine people who love it, there's gonna be that one who hate it and understanding that comes with it. And third is staying on top of technology and, you know, definitely trying to continue to grow your business. You know, I tell people it's not easy. If you hate having a 40 hour job, then you're never going to, to cut it as an entrepreneur because there are no days off. You know, my phone rings at four in the morning, it rings at seven in the morning. There's no time for self, but understanding that dedication and sacrifice, but it's all worth it at the end. It's all worth it to wake up and to know that like, I did this. I'm happy with that. I'm happy waking up every day knowing that I made these choices for myself and I continue to be successful because I believed in myself.